Assassin's Creed Valhalla may shake up the AC formula in a few key ways, but make no mistake, this is still a massive game, with a lot to figure out as you move through 9th century Europe. So sit down, throw back some mead, and take in the 11 things to do first in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Take some time to explore your settlement in Fornberg before making the trip from Norway to England. You'll have to rebuild your settlement from scratch after the move, which means there may be a bit of time before you can access certain features like customizing tattoos and hairstyles. Fornberg also has a tutorial for flighting, think Viking rap battles, I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair, drinking challenges, and a dice game called Orlog. You can even get some rewards for taking part in them. West of your Norway settlement is a larger Viking town called Stavanger. It's chock full of hidden collectibles, including wealth, side quest world events, and more flighting to raise your charisma, which may unlock dialogue options down the line. Combat can be tough early on, as skill points alone won't unlock big flashy moves. You'll need to instead seek out books of knowledge. There are three you can obtain in Norway even before you make the trip to England. One at the Notfall camp you raid early on in the story, another in a bandit camp just below a tower, and a third high up in a waterfall beyond Kjotve's fortress. Try collecting different types of weapons to experiment with different playstyles. You can find a flail at Kjotve's fortress during the main story, a two-handed axe on a small island in the middle of the region called Ike and Oi, and a predator bow at a shipyard north of the island. In one of the biggest differences from the last few Assassin's Creed games, weapons and armor can be hard to come by, so be sure to invest in what you have by upgrading their stats using leather and ore. Once your gear is maxed out, you can increase the number of upgrades and slot them with runes by trading in carbon ingots. If you want a tough challenge early on, explore Hildesvidi's Crag northeast of Fornberg. In the caves, you find a lost Viking whose last wish is to die in honorable combat. He's pretty tough, but defeating him will earn you skill points and a spear. As you pillage, loot, and hunt, you'll amass a lot of trade goods that can be sold at merchants for silver. However, some trade goods are more important than others. Mysterious altars around England may ask you to bring them animal parts, and you can also bring fish and animal parts to people in your settlement to exchange for rare rewards. Don't sell anything you get from animals just to be safe. Once you move to England and you begin to build up your settlement at Ravensthorpe, don't wait too long to upgrade a few buildings. In particular, the Hidden Ones Bureau unlocks a whole quest line of assassination targets. This also unlocks a short quest to use the Leap of Faith. Eivor, not great at Long Falls otherwise. After the Bureau, build your fishing hut. Fishing is a great way to earn some quicksilver, and you'll often need fish to complete those altar-related world events. And finally, build a stable early on to teach your mounts new skills like swimming, and give them better stats like endurance and health. Both England and Norway have a ton of rivers, and being able to swim through them on your mount saves a ton of time. And those are 10 of the things you need to do first in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Make sure you check out the first 16 minutes on Xbox Series X and 4K60, and for everything else Assassin's Creed, keep it locked to IGN.